Hello, I hope everybody's doing great. I know I just did an unboxing for Cracked Polish, but she put out another release and then put um, a 30% off sale for, I think it was her one year anniversary sale. I wanted to pick up some polishes from that sale. I also wanted to pick up some more of her jelly polishes. I've really been craving like full coverage, more opaque jelly polishes. Um, and I did, I do have one from my first order on right now. So when I do the unboxing, you could see it up closer, up closer. Anyways, and also, so I was getting a little bit of conflicting information on if the cracked polish replacement brushes will fit night owl bottles. I feel like people were saying the neck of Night Owl bottles were different than the neck of Cracked Polish bottles, so they weren't sure if they'd fit. But with the 30% off, and they were already a good deal to begin with, it was worth it for me. And then, oh, also, from my first order that I've already opened, I compared the two bottles and they looked identical to me. So I asked my husband his opinion, and he has one of those rulers that it, it's like really exact and he opened the mouth to the ruler and set it up to both bottles and he said they looked identical in size but he was wondering if the threads were maybe different so i still feel like it's not exact but we will find out i've got so this is the night owl bottle I, i'm not sure exactly how this is gonna go Okay, so I don't know, you know, once I get into the unboxing, how is this gonna go? And if it doesn't, if by the end of this video, you don't have an exact answer, or if I don't have an exact, exact answer, I will do a follow-up because I know from the other videos that I've made, there are many of you that really want to find a replacement bottle for Night Owl polishes, a replacement paddle brush. So, like I was saying, I have this one that I have already replaced the paddle brush. So it has a wonky KB shimmer brush. I have this, which has like the brush that comes with the night owl. And then I also have this, which is the KB. I'm gonna see about doing some comparisons, but then also, I don't need, I don't know, I might need a pair of pliers to yank things out of the lid. So we're gonna see how it goes. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the chit chat chatting I needed to do. We'll get to the unboxings. I'll show you some swatches and then we'll see what we find out about the um, replacement lids, brushes. Okay, see you in a sec. All right, this is what I'm wearing from um, one of the newer collections. The, is it the Italy collection? Chinoto? I don't know. This is the dark jelly that I was um, hoping this was gonna be opaque, so I'm extremely happy with this. This is three coats, it's juicy, it is so nice. So I did, I was messing around with alcohol and um, I got some scuffs on here, but that's just because of something I was doing. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the finish of this one. Okay, let's get into this. I did, you know, last time I, oops, I bumped the camera. Last time I bought a sticker, but I was so excited about unboxing this that I forgot to take the sticker out. I just disregarded it with the, um, with the packing slip. Oh no. Hmm. Last time I bought replacement brushes, they came, I bought them from Cupcake Polish and Cupcake polish and I think Holo Taco, you know, replacement brush and the cap, they didn't come together like this. I expected them to come separate. Anyways, what was I saying? That I um, didn't show you guys the sticker that I bought. So this time, hmm, I wonder if those are gonna not pull out. The whole thought, my whole thought process was I was gonna show you guys them measured up. All right, let's see. All right, that's this is all the polishes. I got a good chunk of polishes here. Let me get the stickers out so we can show you the stickers. Oh, and by the way, it does 
come with a matching like postcard thing that matches their and look I think this is very nice and so I was trying to get to the free <laughs> the free shipping and plus I like to put stickers on my Helmers and I keep a journal um well a notebook like whenever I'm doing my swatches and there's things I wanted to remember to talk to you guys about on, you know, certain things about a swatch, uh, polish formula. So I thought this would be cute to put on the note, uh, my notebook, follow me down the in indie polish hole. <laughs> and how real is that statement? All right. And the, these were all, her whole site was 30% off. So these were only a couple bucks. And I thought this was cool because the new release was, what was it called? Page Turner. Now, is this 3D? What? What is this? I don't know what this is. Is this a 3D slug? Is this like, you can see that? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Because nothing else on here is 3D. So I wonder if this is just like a, a mess up. Anyways, anyway, let's get past that. Okay, so let's open the polishes first, and then we will um, check out those replacement brushes. All right, let's see. She puts the Vamped Vanity. I'm trying to remember. I think this was, I don't know. She had a couple polishes um, specific for the day. So one of them was an anniversary polish. Oh, wow. You know what? Let me see if I can get, let me push pause and see if I can get some better light on. Okay, I'm back. So it might be kind of a lot of a light. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I want to be able to have enough light that you could see all of that sparkle. So she had a couple specific polishes for the day. So anniversary polishes and maybe a birthday polish. I'm not sure, but I did pick up both of them. So I'm not sure which one this one was meant for. But look, that does, and I know um, one of them was purpley blue and I felt like it was special for the day. So I wanted to pick it up. This one is, oh, I think this is the other one. So one, this is Cracked Chaos. So maybe this one was for her. I wish it would say on there. I guess I should have just remembered. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. That looks super fun. And you know, I didn't, so I watched... On this page turner release um, for this sale, I watched Polish Yogi and she didn't have these extra polishes, but Caitlin Swatches did have both these polishes. So that's who I've, I, maybe she just had one. Oh, it's hard. It's hard, right? When you watch many different, <laughs> many different, um, you know, swatchers. Like, where did I see this again? Who had this? What was this? There's too many things going on to keep track of it all. Um, leather Bound. So this was from the new release. I did pick a couple of things that I wanted that she had previously released that I didn't pick up with the first order. I have so many brown polishes. I almost passed on this, but... I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't not pass. I love brown polishes. Okay. So this is one of, I want to see this was from her maybe first or second release. This one was wildly popular. I didn't pick this up on the first order just because it's such a bright green that I knew I wouldn't be wearing it for a while. This is actually looking brighter in person, a little more maybe electric in person that it is looking here. But like I said, this was one of our first releases. So there is so many swatches of this, but I'm so happy with this jelly formula that I wanted to, I feel like I, as long as I like the color, I want to pick up um, everything she releases in a jelly. Mm, that's what I'm saying today because I'm in my jelly era. <laughs> I think I've wore creams for so many years and now I've been so excited about all these indie polishes and all the super fun finishes. But jellies are something I never really got into until I started seeing like these full coverage type jellies. Okay, this is 
Runway Muse. I'm not sure. Oh, I, I did pick up one magnetic. I wonder if that's what this is. Yeah, I think this might be the magnetic. And look at this. No, it does not say magnetic anywhere. Let's see if this is the actual magnetic. Yep. This is a big... Mm, do we want to say pet peeve? I don't know if it's the pet peeve's the right word, but it's a big letdown to say the very least. I, I just, I mean, if makers watch any of their PR videos, the the amount of people that swatch that don't know a polish is magnetic and actually make a full video showcasing their polish and don't even show it magnetized. I feel like that should only happen so many times before makers should just say, okay, this was not the move. Let's notate it somewhere. So it's, it's really a silly decision in my uh, opinion on the maker's sites, like a huge miss site, but I don't even know if that's the right word, right? Miss site. That means you forgot. At this point, how do you forget? Anyways, let me tell you what, <laughs> why I'm up on my soapbox. Let me tell you what I'm about to do. Okay, my husband is, if you've watched any of my, my videos, my husband is very crafty. He, uh, <laughs> anytime I complain about something, he's like, I will fix that problem. So <laughs> he made me all of these stickers. So they're little teeny tiny stickers. And I will start putting these on any of my bottles that don't have them already labeled, you know, from the maker. Because look how this kind of looks boring to me. This, this like silvery gunmetal. But then look how cool this looks. That deep gray in the background. I mean, obviously, when you buy a magnetic, well, okay. That's, this is just my opinion because I actually do hear people say I like to buy a magnetic that I like in both states. That is never my goal. If I buy a magnetic, I buy it for what it looks like when it's magnetized. All right, let me get rid of this. Mag oh, no, I'm going to swatch it, so I'll keep that somewhere around here so I don't forget. Truly outrageous. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is the, this is another thing I was on the fence about just because, um, I don't wear toppers a whole lot, but I do love gold. So I thought this would be something I would really like, but I was curious to know if it's going to actually show up gold on some of the pictures. It just showed up like a, a sparkle on the nail, which I already have China's China glaze fairy dust, but I do love the way this looks. And if in person, maybe it'll show up gold more than I could see on the swatch photos, you know? Okay. We got, Ooh, quiet corner. This was a must, a must have. So this was from the newest collection, the book Turner. Oh, wow. You know, I'm obsessed with, um, reflective glitter right now. And this yellow reflective glitter in this bright deep, bright, deep blue. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Wow. It looks good. All right. This is the last polish. This is rolling in the deep. I can't remember what this one was. Oh, this is the other jelly. So this is, I believe, the Jelly of the Month. She's going to start doing Jelly of the Month. There was one that was available that I didn't pick up, but it was because it was a baby pink. And if you watch my la last unboxing, I got a whole set of three pink polishes as like a clean manicure look. This pink that was the Jelly of the Month is super, like, not bright, but very opaque baby pink and it's um you know I want to I want to buy all the jellies but all the ones that I that I really like you know I don't want to just buy them just to buy them but I I'm very very happy with how this one turned out so okay how beautiful do these bottles look I love it all right so 
let's see should I push stop how should we maybe we can keep keep it rolling we'll get this out here and do yeah see I thought this was gonna be she's got this in there hmm I'm not sure okay let me push stop and see what I'm gonna do okay I'm back and I don't know if this is gonna help I just thought we'd play around a little bit. Oh, I do want to show you though, because I did have a couple people comment and say that they've replaced their Night Owl lacquer brushes with the KB Shimmer brushes and they were fine. So I feel like it can be a couple things. Like maybe when you twist your lid on there, maybe you know, there's a little bit of an indention, oops, a little bit of an indention at the bottom. And maybe when you twist, maybe they got the perfect angle. Um, I'm not sure. Or, or maybe, maybe they didn't have theirs replaced as long as I have. So this is a polish that was released last year. So the brush has been in there all year. But I, I want to show you what I'm dealing with here. See if I can get it to come off. Um, okay, should I try to get a different, oh, here's a, a white background. See if this helps. See how crooked that is? So in some angles, see like it's kind of hard to show. So if you're looking at it from this angle, it looks like it might be okay. But then as you start turning it, and when you actually have polish on there and you're trying to butt that up to your cuticle, it is so wonky and you cannot get a clean line around your cuticle and that matters to me so it does bother me okay i don't man i don't know i want to yank this out of here i thought i was going to be able to test this bottle i mean just the cap and just spin it on there but i have to dunk it in there <laughs> i mean that's why i bought these but I don't, I think what it is, is that, let's see, oh, this does look shorter. So the thing is, is, is this going to twist on and make a proper seal? These actually look the same length, but I'm, I'm sure it's the hump because that's cut straight off. So these are probably pretty much the same length, except for. This has a little divot that touches the bottom just oh so slightly. Now, should I just take the plunge and push this in there and see? <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, I'll be back with my decision. Okay, I feel like I'm back with some good news. So I had my husband, I was so scared to mess this up because when I've pulled these little things out of the caps in the past I just completely bent this all up so I was nervous to do it but I got my husband and uh he grabbed on it and yanked it out with no issue to the brush whatsoever and this is the KB shimmer brush that I replaced the night owl last year and it came out all wonky and look at this so if I line up those two right where it would sit on the neck of the bottle and look at that it is ever so slightly shorter so i think that is enough difference to make it work i'm nervous but i mean what am i nervous about <laughs> Uh, it's not like I paid tons of money and it's going to ruin anything. If any, The only thing it's going to ruin is these lids. Well, hmm. I guess if I do it to all of them, then I'm going to be getting... So this one already has the messed up lid in it. But if I do it, say this one has the one that it came with. So I guess that's what I'm nervous about. If I replace all of mine with this... How then I, and it, if it doesn't fit, then I messed them all up. How long 
the drama. Listen to the drama. How long do I test? Because this is the one I've, it's already messed up. So I'm going to use this one as the tester. How long till I know it's fit perfectly? Okay, let's do it though. Let's shove this. Let's see. We'll just use this one because it's already intact. So that was the other thing. So I haven't put them in there together as one, but this one I've already tightened on there. So I know it'll screw on there, but does it screw on there with this thing? But I'm sure it will. I wonder if I should have saved this part for the end of the video for those of you who don't care about this. All right. Hmm, look, it doesn't go all the way down. But does that matter? Oh, look, that one doesn't go all the way down either. Hmm, what do we think? What do you think? That's what Christine, <laughs> Christine from Holo Taco. <laughs> She always puts that video of herself. What do you think? That's silly. Okay. Anyways, we still got a black lid. I wonder if I could have used this. Okay, we're going too deep. Okay, let's be done with this part, huh? Because if you don't even care about this, I wonder if I can edit this video and put this part at the end for those of you who don't care. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I don't edit my unboxings very much. I didn't think it that I didn't think it through, guys. Okay, let's get to the swatching. Let's see if I can try not to make a mess. Put this up here. I got all the lids off of the polishes I bought. So let's start with the magnetic. Let's see. Okay. Am I in there? I feel like I'm so quiet. Yeah, that dark color is what I wanted. Because I feel like if it was just this silvery color, that would be a letdown. It's that dark gunmetal color is what I'm looking for here. She did have a combo, that, like a duo of this and a silver color. I almost bought it, but I just don't know how well silver is going to look next to my skin tone so i didn't want to buy that one all right okay let's do next these two super fun colors so i don't know how much i'm going to love this one it looks like a purple disco ball but it definitely looks fun this one this one looks outrageous okay let's see have we left this here long enough oh my goodness i guess so all right, this one, oh, uh, Vampy Vanity. Am I in there? Mm. Mm, it's like a pinky purple. It's pretty opaque. Um. <laughs> Do I like it? I mean, no regrets. I got 30% off and I knew what I was getting into. I saw this color swatched. So I'm just trying to judge, do I like it? But that's only my opinion on the color. I'm not saying anything negative about the, cause I look how well it, it went on pretty, pretty well in one coat there. All right, let's see. This one's got a bunch of stuff in it. Let's see. Ooh, look at the blue base. Let's look at this one. I mean, that's what we're here for, huh? Ooh. That looks fun. So, it did go on. I mostly got very small, small particles in that first swipe, but look at how much stuff is in there. But I'm pretty used to that. So I'm not used to that with this formula because literally this manicure is the only one I've ever done. Um, but if I'm comparing to flaky polishes, cuticular polishes often go on ultra thin 
in the first coat and it doesn't drop down very much flakes in the first coat. So I'm not concerned about that, but we'll just see how much um, comes off of the nail in the next couple of coats. All right, this is the, wait, did I tell you what this one was called? I was too excited to look at it. This one was Cracked Chaos. And this one's the Quiet Corner. This is the one from the collection that I knew from the very beginning I wanted. It had the reflective glitter, the yellow reflective glitter and the blue base. That is very different. This combo right here, I like it a lot so far. Um, I do feel like it's more rainbowy, so I'm sure for most of you that sounds amazing. I feel like the reflective gl glitter is more rainbowy than I pictured. I thought it was going to come off mostly just yellow. So I'll have to see once we get that fully built up how stoked I am about a blue rainbow. Because I wanted a blue yellow. Okay, this is the something leather. Leather bound. This is this this is the only other um so I got two from the actual release the page turner release. Mm, that first swipe not impressive. So hopefully on the either second or third coat we'll get more of this fun um you know, brown color. I almost didn't get it because I do have bootlegger from, from Mooncat, but I did see a couple comparisons and it felt different. Okay. I'm pretty stoked about these two jelly polishes. This one is rolling in the deep roll. Oh, don't sing. I almost sing. getting too comfortable on these unboxings. So these brushes are a little stubbier. If you follow me on Instagram, I did talk about, um, well, I talked about it on my in my first unboxing. I noticed the brushes were stubbier. And then I also noticed it with this manicure. The brushes are a little stubbier and a little bit stiff, not really bad. But when you're working with a jelly, um, it's easy, you know, and with creams, it, sometimes it, it's easier to make, create a bald, bald spot. So it is kind of nicer to have more of a flexible brush when you're worried about when you're the type of brusher like I am that creates bald spots, especially higher up in the nail, the angle that I paint at, I do create bald spots. So it's something I really had to pay attention and go slowly with when I did this manicure, but I, I do think um, I got a look that I was very happy with and I think it'll just be something, you know, if I'm liking these polishes and I'm gonna be using them more, I'll get more used to the brushes. Plus I'm loving Night Owl. So I might be using, if it works out, I might be using these brushes in my Night Owl polishes as well. So I'll get used to them. Mm, this is really bright. <laughs> This is a little too bright for my liking or for my preference, but I knew there was another col color called Stem. I'm not sure at this time if that one was a jelly or not, but I do have Plastic Jungle from Orly and just from the website, it was kind of giving me the same vibe. I didn't feel like I, I needed both. And this one was ultra popular. And I felt like it was different because I don't have brights or neons in my collection. So I wanted to pick it up. So no regrets when I, when I say it's brighter than, you know, to my liking. It's not what I, I expected it. Okay, let me go off camera here. Look, that did. I didn't hold it there very long, though. Let me go off camera and do a couple more coats. And then what I'll do with this one. Oh, let's do that one right. Let's do this right now. Oh, maybe I'll go off camera. Okay, this is my plan. Because if you've watched my swatchings of these wheels, <laughs> every time I try to go show you guys, I put my thumb in a couple of them. So I will do a second coat and then let them dry for just a second. And then I'll come back and then I'll do this topper on some of like this. Oops. 
I have this old wheel here that I put polishes on. We'll do the topper on a few of those while the second coat's dry. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I don't know what these colors are. Um, oh, it looks like these are some like blacks. So I did a, bought some polishes from TJ Maxx. Yeah, that's what this is. So these are some OPI polishes. And then this black, I think that's an orally black. So we're just gonna put this, you know, just to check things out. Oh, that's a good combo over the, oh, did I even do it under the camera? Wow, you could really see the gold in there. That's exactly what I was wondering. Maybe I've just picked the most perfect color, huh? But it definitely is showing up gold, like a gold rainbow, not just rainbow or not just silver. Oh, I'm happy with that. Let's keep going. I think this one's black. Mm. You know, now that I'm looking at it, I think the other side of this swatch wheel is actually my other cracked polishes when I swatched them with you guys. Yes, this is pretty. I think this is gonna be good for uh, Christmas. That's what I was picturing. I don't really use, um, that's what I use the China Glaze Fairy Dust is for Christmas. And I like this cause it's more, it's goldy. Well, that's what I was hoping it was gonna be. So let's see. Might as well keep going here, huh? Let's see what it looks like over this blue. I mean, can we go, this one, it doesn't look so gold over that, but what's this one? Is this actually what I'm wearing? Oh no, that's a um, black cherry from C&D. Okay, these are the cracked polishes that I that I got for, so the unboxings. These were all the pink ones that I got. This one was, should be Disco Dusk. Um, this was Situation, The Situation. Okay, let's just, ooh, let's do over this red one. That definitely looks like Christmas. Okay, we could just keep going. I'll just use this whole bottle on my swatch wheels. <laughs> Let's pick a pink. Let's pick this one. That's soft and pretty. Oh, wow, that definitely shows up gold on there. Is that pretty? I mean, it's pretty in the way that it's dainty and cute, but am I gonna like it? I don't know, but I like the way it looks right here. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, ew, that kind of looks gross, huh? Cause it's just like the exact color of my skin tone. I haven't tried these out. I haven't, oh, maybe that's the black polish underneath this chain. Oh yeah, it could be. That polish is so dark. Anyways, I need to try all three of these on my nails to see which one I think fits my skin tone. Okay, let's move on. This is what I've decided. <laughs> I wanted you guys to see. Ooh. So when I was doing the second coat of these, I knew I was getting the best. And by the time they dried, you guys weren't going to get the best. So I figured we would do a top coat together that way you could see what these I usually magnetize my top coat so I guess I'll do that right now too just so you guys know if you're curious when I am messing around with these swatch wheels I use sachet Vite. I buy a giant four ounce refill for $17 on Amazon and I use this till my heart's content I don't care it's so cheap and I'm not concerned about wasting it. It's a good shiny top coat, quick dry top coat. So I think it works perfect for this. And in a pinch, I'd use it on my nails, but only in a pinch, cause this does shrink up a lot. I, this is what I grew up using. Man, when this stuff came out, oh gosh, it was all the rage. We were so excited, but it does um, shrink a lot. This is actually pretty. So when I got the second coat on there, 
and I seen all that blue shimmer. The polish deepened up. I seen all that blue shimmer and then I watched it die down and I knew you guys weren't going to see what I was seeing. Along with these other two. It was like my genius plan to, to show you guys dry polishes, but then the beauty's gone. But that's why I got this cheap top coat. All right, this is the quiet corner. Oh, wait, I haven't even been telling you guys the names. Do you remember? Shoot. I forgot that that was part of my second. Okay. Okay, let's do it real fast, just in case. Okay, this first one was the Runway Muse. That's the magnetic. This fun purpley one. This one was Vamped Vanity. This... Um, blue one right here is the quiet corner. This is reflective glitter in here. Okay, so before we put the top coat, I'll show you what this one is. This is the, f which came out really well. Remember I was questioning if I was going to get all that fun stuff on there. And it did, but now it looks boring, but we'll put a top coat. So this is the Cracked Chaos. So let's see what this looks like in all its shiny glory. If I can get it to focus. Wow, look at that. If I remember correctly, it's hard when you're following so many different nail polish things online. But from my memory, I believe this Cracked Chaos was something that she just added a whole bunch of stuff to. And then she was trying to decide if she liked it or not. I think that's what she was saying, but I don't know because if that's the case, how did she recreate it to then sell it? Unless she just did a whole big, um, you know, batch of it at the on the first go. Anyways, it definitely looks great, right? I am very happy with both those. Okay, so this one is, since I compared it, this one is, let me show you the name. This is the Leather Bound. Since I compared it to Bootlegger, let me find it. This is the Bootlegger from Hollow Taco. Nope, I do that a lot in my videos. Mix these two brands up. Bootlegger, let's see. I swatched it somewhere. This is what they, let me get them together. Get my depth perception. Oops, am I poking things that are wet? Oh, oh my gosh, they are wet. They're sticking together. <laughs> Let's see, hopefully you could see. So I don't wanna give you, you know, I'm trying to get it to where they're in the same lighting. So they're giving me the same vibe. Um, I feel like, the only difference is one is darker, one is lighter. And I, to be honest, I feel like they're kind of coming off even more different on camera. In person, I do feel like the, the tone or the shade is a little bit closer in person, but it's definitely one's darker, one's lighter. And if I knew undertones I know that, that maybe this one is yellower the bootlegger this one right here maybe yellower to year this one's brownier okay let's get past that because I don't know what I'm saying we'll still put a top coat on this though but I wanted to compare before I put the top coat because I didn't put a top coat on that one either oh it's getting it's getting chunky I need to put some revive in here I mean, the bottle's full because I keep filling it up, but I don't take care of this like I take care of my <laughs> expensive top coats. I'll leave accidentally leave the top off for a little while because I'm just playing around, you know? Sometimes I'll leave the fan on and, the, and this is just sitting here. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't say that name. So this one is Rolling in the Deep. It's the Monthly Jelly. I'm very impressed with this. This was two coats on the wheel here. This is three coats, did I say that, of the one on my nail. So it's hard to say what's gonna be, you know, I don't know if this is gonna need two or three coats on my nail, but I have to say how I'm feeling right now, my obsessive personality now wants to buy every single jelly she comes out with as long as I like the color. I'm loving this formula. And a lot of times, 
at this point when I wear creams, I crave them. And then I wear cream for a day and I get super bored, you know, and want to either top it with something. I painted my nails th this yesterday morning and look, it's just so juicy. I can't get over the juiciness. I don't want to top it with anything because I'll, I'm going to get rid of the juiciness. Okay, let's get over that one. I didn't even tell you the name of this one. This one is F. Kale. Let's look at the. Oh, yeah. That's so pretty, isn't it? It is brighter. I said it. I said it and I'll say it again. It is brighter in person and it's actually brighter. It dried on the swatch wheel brighter than it than it is in this bottle. I feel like this one, in my opinion, at you know, from the swatch wheel, I'll probably need three coats of this. Okay, did we do all the things that I said I would do? Let's look at this one more time. <laughs> Up close, cracked chaos. I need a um, I don't know a lot about this. I feel like I just seen the swatches of it and then boom, it was released. So I don't know if these are going to come back. If they were, I want to say if they were popular, but they were. I mean, everything sold out. This one's pretty. Let's look at them again right here. I feel like, um, what do you guys think? Well, oh God, I said it again. Now I'm going to start saying it every video. And then I'm going to say it like this. What do you think? Oh, I better stop doing that. I'm still in her. <laughs> I'm still in Christine's line. Okay, I'm going to turn you up and say goodbye. I think we did all the things. So I forgot to show you. So when I was doing the second swatch off camera, I put the sticker on here. And I wanted to show you up close so you could see it. I'm trying to look how weird this looks. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah. That looks so weird, but you could see the sticker good. How cute is this? So now every time I get a magnetic in the mail, if it's not labeled, I'm gonna put that on there. I was thinking about putting it up here. Anyways, anyways, anyways. All right, guys, I think that's all I have to say. I actually am talked out. I wish I can have feel uh, secure about I mean, I feel like we came to a conclusion as much as we can today, but as far as making, I want to make a, what are the letters? A PSA. That, that's what I want to label the video. PSA. And I want to say that these are a fix it, the crack polish to the night owls, but I feel like it needs to be time. I need to leave it in there. Uh, I don't want to be the person that's uh, saying this is the fix it because if you know how long has that list been around saying that these KB shimmer brushes fit in there and they don't so I don't want to be saying they fit so I will be I'm not going to wear this I, I wore it last year so I'm going to set this aside I'm going to let this sit for I don't know a month or two that seems so long but Probably because I'm impatient, but I feel like it probably needs a decent amount of time before we can really tell if it's going to get wonky. But at least we know it fits in there. The lid spins on and it's still a black lid. I don't like changing the caps if they don't match. So, I mean, they're not identical, but they're still black. And actually, I prefer... This is a soft, if you don't have cracked polish, cracked polishes lids are like those soft ones like Hollow Taco. Ooh, I like it. You know who else has those soft lids? Pretty, they're pretty similar. The um, Victorian Varnish, they have nice caps. It's a whole thing for me. It's not just the polish. I love it all. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm taking forever for my outro here. <laughs> okay, any questions, ask me. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye.